Hello, welcome. I'm Drew, call sign AC3DS, and this is Transmitting Until Robots Replace Us. Today, we're going to do a two minute tutorial on how to check the SWR on your ICOM 7300. So let's put two minutes on the clock. To check your SWR on the ICOM 7300, you're going to want to first make sure that your tuner is turned on, then that you've attempted to tune per, for a particular frequency. Once you've attempted to tune for a particular frequency, go ahead and click the menu button, then choose SWR, and you're going to be presented with a graph of the last attempt at this frequency range. Now for me, I switch between antennas fairly frequently, so I don't remember if this graph is from this antenna or from another one, so I'm going to go ahead and create another graph to really test it. So I clicked play there and then I'm picking up my microphone and I'm just pressing the push to talk button. And I can see that I have some really high SWR in this particular range. However, right at the very beginning here around 3.749, I can see that it is actually a little bit lower. So I'm going to change my frequency. I'm going to go down to say 3.720 and I'm going to try this again. So again, I'm going to hold down my tuner button. I'm going to let it attempt to tune. I'm going to press the play button and now I'm going to check it again. And now I can see, oh, that's perfect. Right at 3.720, it tuned, it did a great job. And now I can see that it's got high, a little bit higher, a little bit around two, or close to two at 3.670, but th uh, right in the center here, it's really nice and low at one to one. Um, so these steps here across the bottom are indicated by these bars here. So I have 11 bars set up, 11 increments. I can change that by either increasing or decreasing. And likewise, I could change the steps between the bars by changing it using the step 10 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, etc. And so you can get either a larger, wider swath or a smaller uh, segment of the entire band by changing those settings. You're going to want to make sure that your power is turned down low. So go ahead and click the multi button up here and make sure that your power is set to something, according to the manual, less than 30%. I always keep mine at about 10% when I'm doing this check. And that's about it. Now you know how to check your SWR.